Alfred Pennyworth. Good luck, mate. Starting work there, then, mate. Bruce. Looking for you. What are you doing? <gasps> Good, you stupid... Oh. It's all right. Sorry. I wonder if it might be convenient for you to visit us tomorrow. Of course. I've had a child before. The boy respects you. It's cutting. Oh, no, 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 you won't have him. I'm not told you to stop creeping up on people like that before. It's bloody rude! You're the bastard! It's got a hurt, no, no, really. Whoa, 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 whoa! Tools, I surrender. Why would you want to look at these? They're horrible. They're going to give you nightmares. Detective Gordon has promised you that you will find the person he will try. Of that, I am certain. And no dinner last night. What's the new program? Well, if that's the case, I should save myself the trouble of making it. Well, it's the Wayne. Plan in name only now. Alcone stepped in. He's back in the plan now. And he stands to make quite a chunk of change if it passes. I heard screaming. Absolutely untold. Piles of the bloody things. And may I, I ask, oh, why? That's a bloody waste of time. What if you never discovered who killed your mum and dad? Hmm? What if you never... And I took the liberty of accepting their kind invitation on your behalf, Master Bruce. Our business is done, isn't it? Master Bruce. Name, please. These are Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Just this way. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight, Gotham's wealthiest one percent rests fitfully under a Up down to the lake house. You like it there, don't you? You God. It's all ah, sorry about that, mate. Can't be too careful. That's what happens sooner or later. Don't you want to be like a normal kid? You're going to bloody school. I start walking. Good luck, lad. Oh, I did they now? Well, I hope you broke that bastard teeth for them. On top of school. No bloody likely. Because if you don't want to do this, there's no shame in it. <sighs> Point well made, I think. Just you remember that next time you see him. Now I let him try. What do you fancy for your dinner? Pizza. Pizza? He deserved it. Witness to a murder, Master Bruce. You do understand that, don't you? Bring everything I can. <gasps> the, the, the jab, jab, right. Alfred's teaching me to fight. How's your room? Everything good? Right, well, breakfast was served at eight. Miss, which you... Well, I'm terribly sorry, Master Bruce. Didn't realise you fancied her. Well, there's nothing to be embarrassed about, but it's only natural, isn't it? But you... Watch her. Left, left, right. Detective, this isn't going to work out. She's a... a tough nut, this one. We shall patiently await your arrival. A breath of fresh air, I might say. Very good, sir. Yes, hello, Miss Huggins. No, Master Bruce, this lady's been involved in a car accident. Pretty tasty fire, actually. Let's have one for you. They were trained to kill us. And your bloody little girl brought them here. Now, I know this girl. Right now! We need to find Master Bruce. Butler, mate. How much? There's 100. Maybe Fish knows her. Fish knows everyone. Yeah, he was a white chap, well, lad. Now, we called him Butchie C because he wasn't. In fact, he was a horrible little toe rag. What? So, we're looking for this girl. Yes, miss. I'm Alfred Pennyworth. I'm the boy's legal guardian. Petty self interest outweigh. Honor and compassion. Do you die? Who 
who employs butlers anymore. Go risking your life like that to get whipped into a frenzy by the females. I don't want to start now. It's not like that. Out of my way. Master Bruce looks like she's got the mange. If needs be, miss, yes. Master Bruce? I see. Shall I get a broom then? Pying over the shattered fragments of your young dreams. I can still come with you if you want me to. I have to worry. Who said I was worried? Not without your father. Come here. Carrying on the tradition like this. Master B. One more time, I think that uh, it's an incredibly bad idea, Master Bruce. I think it's reckless in a ditch. Don't blame me. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Reggie? Sorry for calling you so late. This is, sir. Uh, we serve together, sir. Perhaps a shower's in order, Master Bruce. I'll be uh, drinking this evening. Not, eh? Take a pew. No, I've chopped its head off and we ate the bloody thing. Uh, so, um... I still have the old war stories. Hey, Reg, they be lovely. I'd like to... I'd like to tidy up before I go to bed. I found some fresh clothes for you, Reg. I folded them and I put them on your bed. Sleep. We put food in your belly. Um, I mean to find out. Alfred? If you think I'm going to take you, must. She's a very pretty young girl with a penchant of wearing one a little too much leather. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> now, Reggie was a legend. He could be blind, drunk, and walk a tightrope. I'll see you this evening, sir. Whole city's going do lally around us. They're out gallivanting home every night like clockwork, working this very room. But that doesn't say much, doesn't mean it's a bloody clue, does it? Maybe maybe that as well, I suppose, but I don't know, and I don't care, and don't you dare press that bloody button.